Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to How to Crypto. We're coming at you today with a video about the very sad events that are going on today. As we can see here in Coin Market Cap, everything is down. Down by a lot. It's a massacre. Check it out. Tether up 4%, and that's about it. It's top 30, top 40, top 50, top 60. And number 66, Neblio, up 21%. But as you can see, everything else is down right now, and people are wondering why. Uh, there's a couple of bad news going on. Number one is that uh, South Korea has some issue with uh, cryptocurrencies and are completely against them. So that's one bit of news that are uh, that's very concerning for the crypto world. But more importantly for us involved in the lending platforms, is the fact that BitConnect is gone. This right here is the BitConnect page and I'll read to you straight from it. it. Says here, this is to inform all community members that we are closing the BitConnect lending and exchange platform. We are closing the lending operation immediately with the release of all outstanding loans. With the release of your entire active loan in the lending wallet, we are transferring all your lending wallet balance to your BitConnect wallet balance at 363 USD. This rate has been calculated based on the last 15 days average of the closing price registered on CoinMarketCap.com. You are free to withdraw your BitConnect coin currently in QT wallets that was used for staking as well. We are also closing BCC exchange platform in 5 days. In short, we are closing lending service and exchange service while BitConnect.co website will operate for wallet service, news, and educational purposes. So basically what this reads is that BitConnect is gone. All the money you had in there, including your active investment, was given back to you in BitConnect coins, which were valued at $363 each. And they'll be gone in five days. And basically their website is going to serve as a news platform and educational platform, which... I mean, it hasn't until now. There are no, there are some news, yeah, but those are news that we could get from YouTube anyways. And there are some educational uh, articles, but like, you know, <laughs> this isn't any any special stuff. You know, they don't have the greatest news. They don't have the greatest educational articles. So honestly, their website is going to be useless after this. And their coin has just pummeled everybody as soon as they received their active investment back including myself everybody rushed to sell their coins i myself had eleven thousand dollars in active investment and i received around 33 coins those 33 coins um, are worth about 800 to a thousand dollars max right now so basically nothing compared to what i had um luckily for me i managed to withdraw just enough I started in BitConnect with $5,000 and I reinvested some, withdrew some until my active investment reached 11800 and I had withdrawn another $5,000. So basically I broke even. Um, that being said, a lot of people had much bigger active investments than I did and they were reinvesting the whole time just hoping that BitConnect would last long enough for them to reap a profit and in this case it did not. This is why we always tell you guys that we are not financial advisors and this is not financial advice because we're humans, uh, we're not CPAs, we're just here trying to make a buck just like everyone else. Makes sense? We make money on our daily lives and we take that money and say, hey, how can we make this money work for us? We find all this cryptocurrency stuff, you know, we find the coins, trading, we find the lending, lending platforms and we decide, hey, we're going to try our hand at this, we're going to take our money, we're going to risk it. And hopefully get a reward in the case of BitConnect, i personally did not get any reward i just broke even uh, some people made money some people lost money so yeah do your own due diligence and remember that this is very risky business so um BitConnect claims that what happened was that they were ddosed a denial of service attack um, and on top of that they're complaining about the regulations that the U.S. is trying to impose on them. So that goes for Texas. And um, let's see here, it actually says here. Um, 
one from the Texas State Securities Board and one from the North Carolina Secretary of State Securities Division. Basically, these are cease and desist letters that they received. Um, here they're talking about the DDoS attack and some bad press. I mean, these are the excuses that they're bringing up for closing their multi-million, probably billions of dollars worth of lending <laughs> investments. These are the excuses, not, not very good excuses if you ask me. But anyway, that being said, what does this mean for Dabber, which is the main one that we promote here on How to Crypto? Well, first of all, let me start with the uh, Dabber public announcement that reads, Dear Dabber community, you must have heard that BitConnect is stopping both his lending program and his exchange platform. This, are not, this does not change anything for us except that now Dabber is the number one lending platform in the world. We are now the new standard and we thank you all for having joined us since the beginning or since very recently. Many people are going to join us in the following days, which means the price will increase and all of you already in the game with us will benefit from it. We will keep offering you the best interest rates in the market and our tech team will keep working hard to make our system safe for you. We can tell you now that we have faced two days ago the same attack on our system as BitConnect received. They shut down almost two days and did not really come through it while our tech team found the solution within two hours. This is only to show you that we are strong and prepared to be the new standard in the industry. We're going to the moon. Are you ready? So basically, Dauber is focusing on the most positive side of all of this. With BitConnect closing down, where are people going to go if they want to lend their money with the same high returns? They're going to go to Dauber, of course. But that's only one side of the story. There's also a negative to this. Due to BitConnect, who has been around since March of 2016, the oldest strong lending platform closing down, the whole lending platform business loses a lot of trust from the consumers. So that's the negative side of the coin. A lot of people in Dauber, including ourselves, which I'll get to in a minute, are going to stop reinvesting and will rather pull out their money. When everybody starts to pull out their money and not reinvest, that brings the value of their coin down because it's being sold constantly. Make sense? So they think their coin is going to rise from the influx of customers from BitConnect, whereas there's also a notion that these bad news could have a very negative effect on their price. Their price could go down because people will instead be only cashing out. Even if some new people join, everybody already in the system and everybody involved in lending platforms, period, knowing these news, are going to be a lot more wary. Um, here in How to Crypto, what we're going to do with our $25,000 loan is basically cash out 100% all of the interest that we get until we break even. Once we break even, since we're safe at that point, we're going to start reinvesting 50% and still catching out 50%. Now, the major telltale date will be March 27th when they give out the capital release. When Dabber coin gives out a capital release, if they do, they're going to gain a lot of trust. People are going to say, hey, this is the, you know, this is the way, this, <laughs> this is where we have to go. And um, everybody's going to be happy again. And people forget this bad news very quickly in this uh, crypto world. But never forget, if BitConnect went down, Dabber coin must eventually go down as well. Don't forget that, guys. Remember, everything has to come to an end including these lending platforms. All you need is to calculate, run your numbers, and look at the risk versus the reward. Do I want to get involved with this? Do I want to risk my money? Do I believe they're going to last long enough for me to get my money back and then some? In this case, we already have our money in there. If I were to be asked what would I do had I not put my money in there already, I will wait until March when everybody else starts getting their capital release. And if they truly give a capital release, then I will consider risking some of my money. But I will definitely, if I have money in there already, or if I put some money in, I will definitely cash out 100% until I break even. Definitely. That's just, it has to be done, guys. A lot of people invested in BitConnect. They never cashed out. They only reinvested. And now they're in a hole. I personally put $5,000 in, reinvested a few, 
took out a few, eventually I broke even, taking out $5,000, and then grew my invest in, investment by reinvesting up to 11000 and now it's gone. So basically I wasted a whole bunch of time, but didn't really lose any money. Makes sense? So, I mean, this took us by surprise. <laughs> we did not see this coming. Big Connect has been strong for so long. And we teased it in our titles and our thumbnails saying, ah, oh, this, you know, Dabber coin is the Big Connect killer. It's the new Big Connect. Big Connect is going on, blah, blah, blah. But uh, we definitely did not see it coming. And now that it's gone, it puts a lot of pressure on the Dabber platform to perform and to pick up the slack. However, we will continue to have some healthy cynicism, healthy uh, pessimism, and uh, es expect that Dauber will eventually collapse just the same. Who knows when? So yeah, here we are in our Dauber platform. As you can see here today, they paid out just fine. 1.45%, uh, 1.3% 1 on this one. Um, for a total of uh, four third, uh, $440. As you can see down here, we're already withdrawing our money. We, there's no need to wait. We're already withdrawing. Those are $5,000 that we have received up to this point. And we took it out and turned it into Dauber coin. As you can see here, we have 45 Dauber coins. Now the question is, do I sell those now or do I sell those later? I chose to hold on to them for now because with the influx of people, if Dauber coin is right in their prediction, their price could go up. So I'm going to go ahead and risk it and see if their Dauber the price up here that says one dollar equals 100. I'm just gonna hope that that goes back up to where it was before the crash, which was around $170. And when it does, I will definitely sell my dollar coins, get my BTC, take my Bitcoin out and put it in my bank account. Either that or use the Bitcoin to speculate and trade other coins. Basically, if we go down here, I mean, this is a great opportunity, guys. I want to explain to you that this happens all the time. Everybody's just freaking out. Oh my God, the market is crashing. Oh my God, the sky's falling. But Bitcoin has done this multiple times throughout its history. It always goes down to a certain point during January, and then it goes in a huge bull run the rest of the year. Uh, the highest spike that Bitcoin usually goes through is a little bit after March, around April, you know, June, July, all of those uh, months right down the middle of the year. Uh, that's when Bitcoin really gains its value. And it always hits a high around December. Makes sense? Always takes a hike around December, always takes a dive around January. And when Bitcoin falls, the whole market follows. Now, once Bitcoin regains its strength, which we are expecting it to do so. Once it regains its strength and it rallies around a new average, good, solid price, then people will re remove their money from Bitcoin and start pouring it into the altcoins. So Bitcoin will be the first one to rise if the market behaves like usual. And then all these other little coins are going to get some money thrown into them. So, and then that will create a new balance in the market the balance that we were used to before this little dip. Makes sense? So if you're wondering what to do in a market like this, definitely buy some of your favorite coins, the coins that you believe in, the coins that you really think are worth something. Makes sense? And not all of these coins are worth something. A lot of these down here, although we buy them sometimes because we want to speculate and see if they'll rise in price, some of these coins down here are not worth anything. They don't do anything good. They're copying another coin or they're simply just garbage you know you don't need all of these okay make sure you do your research make sure you, do, you buy the coins that you believe in and soon enough we'll start bringing you videos on what coins we believe in and what coins we think we would buy if we had extra money because <laughs> we i mean we don't have unlimited money most of our money is tied up on dauber but now that we're cashing out we're actually going to be bringing you guys a lot more videos on what all coins we buy how we trade and uh, how do we navigate this turbulent waters of crypto okay so that's pretty much it for us right now uh, we do want to announce that we'll be going a little easy when it comes to promoting the coin we want to make sure that you guys understand that we are very pessimistic about it right now 
we expect it to someday disappear. We are not sponsored by them in any way, so we don't have to sugarcoat anything. They will someday disappear. We hope that we can make our money back and we hope that we can make a profit. We hope that anybody who gets in early enough also makes a profit. But the end time will come someday, the haters will be right, and it will all be gone. By then, hopefully, we've made enough money and we've traded in the right coins that our money continues to grow. So we wish you all a uh, safe time out there in the crypto world. I hope you guys didn't lose much money. And um, yeah, guys, just keep your head up high. Don't give up. Okay, don't use all of your money to invest. Use money you can afford to lose. And everything should be okay. We'll see you next time.